The starting point of science is observation. The starting point of science is observation. That's the voice of David Chandler, who's a, a high school physics teacher, and he is considered the father of free fall. Uh, he is the one who did the study and had uh, the National Institute of Standards and Technology change their assessment and agree that the, the collapse of Building 7 was indistinguishable from free fall is what they uh, assessed. Now, I want to go down and take a look at what Mr. Chandler states. This last sentence here, one moment the building is stationary, the next moment it is falling at absolute free fall. I'm going to address both of those uh, thoughts. One moment the building is stationary. I'm going to address that last. First, I'm going to address this. The, the, the next moment it is falling at absolute free fall. Well, let's take a look. He says observe. Let's observe. See what we got here. Now, this is the video. This is the same video that he used to to make his measurement and make that statement. What I've done is, is uh, slowed it down and put a magnifier on it so we can look at it closer. Uh, I noticed something a long time ago about this video. It looked to me like this edge right here was shaking back and forth on the way down. Uh, I didn't have the tools to look at it closely several years ago, but I could hold a straight edge up to the screen and see that it was shimmying somewhat. So by slowing it down and magnifying it, we can get a good close look at it. The first thing to notice, and I've, I've kind of isolated it here, is, is, the, is the very beginning. Watch, watch the gap between this white line right here and the edge of the building. You'll see it widen immediately. Now, see, that's the first move it makes. It's over very first move is to the left and down. Watch that. See how it shifts over and stops? It's like a stutter step. It shifts to the left and stop and, and comes down a bit and stops. See that? Then it starts dropping. All right, let's look at it a little a little further and that's the, just the first thing to notice there. It, it didn't just drop all of a sudden at free fall. If, if the building is moving over this way, it's got to have resistance on the ground for it to kick over that way. If the, if the legs were chopped out from underneath it, it would truly just drop straight down. That's not what happened. It shifted to the west, to the left, paused for a second, I mean just a, a millisecond, it just paused a little bit and then dropped. Well, let's look at it further along in, in collapse. See what it does. Just watch. Watch that edge. Watch, see that? And look at it leaning. Look how far it's leaning now. Now that that amount of that that part of collapse is more than the eight stories that uh, people claim that it fell at free fall for the first hundred feet, the first eight floors, it fell at absolute free fall. Take a look at it over here. Watch it shift to the left. Look at it. See it shifting and coming back and forth? Shifting again. What does that mean? That means some part of it is in contact with the ground. That means that's not free fall. Let's take, let's now watch this. 
I'm going to lose this part of it. Watch that again. Do you see that? Take a look at that top again. You got to let this soak in to see what's happening. Watch it. Shift over, stop, pause, and then start dropping. And then it takes a real big kick right there. Back and forth, sideways to sideways. Something's in contact with the ground. That's not free fall. Let's take and since the since the building is leaning so much when it gets over, let's I'm going to move this edge over here so you can get a better look at how it's coming down. Be patient. There we go. That's a little closer. You can see it shaking back and forth with that with that line next to it. Watch it. See that? Back and forth. It's in contact with the ground. It's not free fall. I, I don't care what calculations he used to come up with it by observing what's happening. That's not free fall. Now, I have to say, it's close. His measurement is close to free fall, but it's not free fall. There is resistance. There's something, some part of that structure is in contact with the ground on the way down to make it move. There's no other way for it to move sideways like that. No other way. See that? That's not free fall. All right, let's let's look at the other part of the statement. One moment the building is stationary. The next moment it is falling at absolute free fall. Well, let's take a look at that too. This one's simple. Look, it hasn't started dropping yet. That building is not stationary. This whole side right here is is moving that way to the west. At least optically it is. Remember this because this right here is going to play a key role in understanding what happened to Building 7. Everybody missed it. Even NIST. NIST only went so far, they didn't fully grasp this motion. Nobody else has got it. But, but look, there's no down movement yet on his measuring point. What did he say? One moment the building is stationary. The next moment it is falling at absolute free fall. This says that statement is false. It wasn't free fall and it didn't just suddenly drop. 